G'day everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. I have been busy as well as um, Brad here. He, we've be, both been actually getting to and pulling these motors apart so we can get the copper out. So I thought, well, I'll do a video of me actually splicing them up. What I mean by splicing them up, I'll grab one out. Mind the bending action, got you on the bit of a chest action here. This is what I mean by splicing them up so we can actually put them in the cutting tool that I have here, which is basically just a log splitter, a bit modified. Now I've made up a um, piece here, modified that to, you know, it just can be a log splitter. Oh, geez, what have I done there? So it still can be a log splitter, as you can see. Um, I have got a video on how I've done this before, but I thought, well, I'll get on, you know, show you how it all works again, like with what I do with these, you know, I actually get to and um, put them up here, I've made it a foot pedal down here, wired it in, so I can still use the button on the thing there, I can still use the button down on the floor, right, I put that in myself, just basically a hard wire type of thing, but this is what we've done. Uh, so this is how it works, I should say. Have an extra block of timber on the far side. Go slow and steady. Oop, that's too far. Pull the lever. Go there. And it just cuts it. Right, pull the lever over here. Turn this over. makes it so easy I probably will find some aluminium ones in amongst this but we're not sure so we'll get to and get it done Brad's over here doing some transformers so I'm going to do this while he's doing that Then we'll get to and extract the copper out of the end, probably at a later date. That like so. Just got to keep the fingers out of the road. It does better on the bigger ones, but we um, can only do what we can. That's good enough for me. Let's cut the copper, that's the main thing. No, Brad, it's already done, mate. <laughs> what you got to do with that? Open your vice. I told you this earlier. He's still only learning, everyone. So, open your vice, then you put your copper on your jaws. No, 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 open your vice. Now lay it so that the copper is the same way what the vice is. Up the other way, upside down. Keep going, keep going. Another, another 180. That way. Now turn it, turn it. Yep, so that it opens up that. Put that into that. You might have to go to the big vice over there. That's enough. You don't need to clamp it up. Then you hit the metal out. That's there. Use the ballpoint hammer over there. Or even that um, one with the point on it. All right. Yes. yes. So yeah, he's still only learning, um, like everyone is. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's down there. I might cut that with the grinder. But what we do after that, we put it in there. So I haven't got my tools yet. Hit the center. That's why I said use that. Yeah, that way. There you go. There you go. You take the top piece off. No, no, don't undo your vice. Leave your vice as it is. Go to this far end. Hit it with the far end here. Make yourself easy. See it? Now that top layer of copper can come off. Just put it on the bench. And then your next two layers of steel. So I'll clean that up a little bit better. Yes. Yeah, those two strips there are steel. Just put that on the bench. Yeah, just give them a tap. Yeah. 
on the bench. Just put it all on the bench yep. for now. All right. Um, you will need to hit it a little bit more because you haven't hit the the <coughs> device itself. That's it. You're right down. Uh, I get this one. No. Yeah. Undo it. That'll, that's enough. Now you should be able to pry them apart. But anyway, I'll continue here. I'll leave Brad to do that. He's still learning how to do these things. We all got to learn somehow. If they don't get in and do it, they're not going to learn. So we'll get in and get these all split. I'm wondering if I put something underneath that. Wonder. I have forgotten how to do this even. So there we go. Ooh. Gotta let the motor cool down a little bit. Stop. There we go. Squashy, squashy. No, that's not going to do the job. Stopped halfway through. So that one's going to have to be cut, Brad. And we'll have to pull him out. Maybe. I'll see if I can go again. Yeah, we're going to have to cut that one. That goes over in that box. This one here. Pull that out. Popperoo, look at that. That was easy. There. Slice it in half. Ah, uh, yeah, straight into there, mate. Yep. You want me to do cleaning first or just No, keep just keep going with those. You'll be fine with that. No Whoop, squashy squashy. I might have to oh I see why, because it's got corner pieces there. See how that's got that there? Um I didn't cut that right through. That's what it is, so we'll get to and fix that up later. We've got a fair few here anyway, so we can just keep going. Find out which ones are going to cut. Cuts it like butter. All right, put that one back down there. And then exit. Through there. That went a bit off. Get that out of the road. No, that went crooked. Damn, mozzies are shocking. Pointing the hell out of me. Oh. See that way, will it? See if that helps. Certainly did. Certainly did help. Ah, uh, can I have a big screwdriver right in front of you, thanks? Sure can. Cheers. Yeah. These are just about broke me timber in half. All right, that can go down there for further processing a bit later. And then need a little grind onto that. That into there. Ooh, no, stop it before it squashes it. And it gets, makes it very, very hard to get out otherwise. Well, that one was easy to push through. Yeah, there you go. You getting there? It's back to the same problem. That one must be a pretty hard one, that one. Mm, we'll sort that out later. Into that pile over there again. Yeah, what you've got to do with those is you've got to pull the plate off. Yeah, you put it in the vise and bend it over. Yeah. Right? I haven't shown you those, but yeah, see how you go while I'm doing this. Yeah, and then you get a chisel underneath it at that side and you chisel it off. Yeah. 
through there. Got back the timber that seen better days. Alright, that was easy, wasn't it? When I hit it on the right spot. Yep, and then, then what you do with those, right, is you put that between the vise and hit on the outside and your centre piece comes out. Okay? No worries. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that went a bit quick whiff. What to try to do without the bit of timber? It's not easy doing those, I can't tell you. And they're a bit fiddly. Like these sometimes if they get caught. Like this one. Go around this way. Come up. That didn't work. A bit higher there. most of it not a good technique but it works I'm just getting inside that now and cut it in half these bigger ones are the better ones to be doing get up there Jump and chippy. Coming apart? Slowly. Slowly. <laughs> How did that screwdriver get in there? Yeah, you just got to watch out for those, that's all. Part good enough for me anyway. Do a transformer. You always make sure we get it done. Yep. Um, I've got to have a riser for that. End of that block of timber. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm going to use now. I need to work out of that one. Yeah, look at all your 10 cent pieces. <laughs> That's all you got to think about. Yeah, you can do that one straight away. Same as that. I'll pass those over to you. I'll no do a worries. few of those. I can um, handle that. You can handle those. There's no different than what you're doing. You might be better off with a tub down there so that they can fall into. Yeah, well... That's an idea for you. Right behind you. Yeah. 
That way, if I get in, I can throw it in there too. That's right. I'm going to do away with that oh, riser. That's a pain in the butt. That riser. It's getting a one. Well, that's not going to do that one. That's a bit skewy there. Go this way. Must be full extent. Now oh, we'll just get another one in there. I think that's what it needs. Where'd that one go? Down here. Where'd the other part go? Don't know. Well, that's on the ground. Oh, they're going everywhere. Get these little ones out of the road for you. Fingers out of the road. Yeah, that's so easy, mate. Just pull the plates off. <laughs> right. um, we've got a special tool in that box for those. I made a special tool for them. It's got a square head. No, square head. Square head. Like mine, see? <laughs> yeah, it's just about, oh, it's about yay long. That's six inches long. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, the foot's a bit anxious. Wants to get them done. What else we got here? That one there, that one there. Get them up there. That one there. It's only a skinny bar. That one's been done. Can't find it, boss. You can't find it? Well, I'll do it like this. Yeah, come and have a look. Well, that should be over here, this one. That should be over in the other, other section. There's not any. Too many tools here. I've got too many tools. Yes. Too many tools, you pull them out. There it is. Ah, uh, over there. You see where the other one is? That's it there, yeah. Yep. Squash that one. That's going to be deadly to get apart. Is apart. Nine ton press. Yeah. Do a few more of these.
where are you putting the copper? Here at the moment. Oh, there at the moment. Um, just grab that black tub over here because yep. I've got one strand in there already. Um, you can the ones you're doing there now. You just got to put it straight into that because it will go st stringing. Okay, that. No, 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 no. The one you're doing now. Oh, the little ones, yeah. yeah, those little ones, they can go straight in there. Like no, you gotta take the plastic out. Yeah. I like taking the plastic out. And yeah. um, that's why I said processing a lot is, is yeah. No, you no can do a lot later. You're just getting the steel off it at the moment. Please keep the hands out of the road. <laughs> That's that one. Because that busted that open. See, hey, look at that. What? That must be one of those ones you can hammer apart. It is. Give that to you then. Don't forget there's one down there. Use that one. Any more? Yeah, there's one there. A couple more there. Do one of those little motors. So yeah, it's been a good concept putting this together. Just got to keep keep me eye on the hands. Can get a bit dangerous. That one's done. Leave it sitting there and pry it off. I got a lot of the ideas for this idea off uh, good old YouTube, of course. We find a lot of stuff there. Here we go. Brad can sort that one out now. Give it to him. Gotta stop that from twisting sideways. Okay, put that down there. No room down there. Oh, I've got to go there. You got a little screwdriver there, bro? Sure have. Yeah, that'll do it. That yeah, that'll do it. You got a hammer now? Sure have. That one? That'll do. Even though my hands are full. No, bigger one. Bigger hammer. Oh, a bigger hammer. hammer. Not a little bugger. A bigger screwdriver, I should say. Not a bigger hammer. <laughs> I've got the hammer in my hand. I don't need a bigger hammer. <laughs> Hopefully that'll do. Stop from twisting. You can have the hammer back. Alrighty. No, no, stop. Go back. Start again. That's gonna do the trick. Stop on the twist. There we go. You didn't think you had many to do until I started, eh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> no can. Oh, where's that bit better? We received three printing presses today too, so we've got a big couple of big motors on there. We'll show you later uh, what they look like and that sort of thing. We're going to just take the motors off because they, they're all cast iron. We won't get it all apart, unfortunately. 
just too much to process. So we will be taking them in as they are, unfortunately. Oh, come on, Pof. Come on. Oh. This is where I need that mower. How good it is. Oh, I lost my foot pedal. That's very the go. Important, very important with each one. Uh, I can't help it if it squashes it. No, no, <laughs> I'm saying very important is to watch your wire doesn't fall out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, like I said, they are very finicky. Yes. Oh, yeah. One after another. That's the go. We can just cut that with side cutters now. A pair of them sitting right here. Just cut the copper. Then for extracting later. Grab another one. There it is. It's a messy job. I like it when a plan goes together like that. When you love the work. Especially when it does that. Look at that. Oh, is that an aluminium one? Oh, brother. Oh, dear. <laughs> I said we may find, find some aluminium ones. That's an aluminium one. You can have that one. You know where that goes. Crack a do, crack a doodle do. Release the pressure. Whoops. Stop it there, son. Give you a turn. Turn you around. Well, that didn't work either. Sort of buggered it up. Well, we'll cut that one later. Uh, I'll put him down over there. That's all the cut ones over there that we've got to do. Yep, that's going to be a cut one. Put him back to shape. Put him over there. He's got soft walls. Have another. Just force it through. Release a bit of pressure. Good 
good extraction this. Yeah, that bent up. Over there. We're not fiddling with that stuff at the moment. I think we're going to have to cut that with the grinder. Chuck it over there, see the road. Well, been good so far, only one aluminium. Woo there, son. You're not doing that to me. You're going over there straight away. I'm not contending with you. Squashing my hands. not going now yeah they need cutting on the corners that one there that one should be fine no he's not These soft suckers soft suckers those gonna have a few that we're gonna have to redo what are you done beautiful easy ass Oh, easy as you're saying. Yeah, you just have a screwdriver up there, go lighten them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Learning every moment of the second. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Screwdriver come loose, give it a hit. More than come loose, come as rift. Fixing on the fly, everyone. Fixing on the fly. That's a fairly big gap, that piece of steel should fit down there. Maybe. I'll go back to the screwdriver, I reckon. That one's got rivets in it that need cutting. See if they go right through that. Oh, we're lucky with that one. Very, very lucky. Uh, I'll go this wide one here. This is way better than a machete. Seen a lot of people doing these with machetes. Power behind it, you don't have to struggle. 
with a hydraulic power. It's good enough. Part. Go this one now. Next to mine. Okay, that one here looks solid. You're still amazed at this, aren't you? Yes, I am. <laughs> How long would it take you know, to actually cut the end off and then try and pull that end out? I was doing it before I made this. Now, it was taking me a long time. That was like maybe about... Well, there you go. It was me too. I wouldn't know where to start. Well, I didn't know where to start, but I started out small. Yeah. Oh, here's a big one. Here's a bigger one. Let's see if it'll do that one. This is having to be fun. <laughs> you reckon that'll be fun? Oh, my foot pedal's gone walk about. I'll let them walk back to you. Well, I keep pushing it over, that was the problem. Ooh, it jumped out of its socket. It don't want to do nothing. Here we go, we've got it started. Got to get the other one out now. You're joking. You are joking. I'm cutting an aluminium one, am I? Oh, no. Oh, he is. That's an aluminium one. Don't matter. I'll get there. Ooh, that's a bit crooked. There go there. I got the power. <laughs> got power in his hand. Well, you remember that song, I've Got the Power? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what I was thinking on just then. I got the power. I know. I didn't have power earlier. <laughs> yeah, I shut his power off. <laughs> we had a malfunction there, so we had to fix it. I'd have taken care of this place as well. Good part. Good ho. Good ho. But anyway, well, I'll continue doing these and I'll get on to um, pulling this out here. Right, we fin finally got through a fair few of these. Um, we had a few that did stuff up here, so we're going to get to and uh, do them with the grinder. So that's a later date. We've got a few down here that we're going to have to cut, like you get cut through there and then pry it all out. Same with a lot of those, so we'll get that apart. We're not going to send them as motors. We'd rather get them out as copper. But anyway, oh, that's an aluminium one. How come I missed that one? The other half will be in here somewhere. Right there, that was an easy pick out. We're only after the copper today. We'll sort that out later, with all the aluminium ones. So what we do is we put this in here. Just showed Brad how to work the operation here. Where's my foot pedal? Down there, get it all ready and ready to go. Clamp that down. Pull him out. Simple as. Back and forward, back and forward. Two-man operation. Because I haven't altered the uh, box splitter itself. Oh, I'll peel that out with my fingers. Look at that. How good's that? <laughs> this is another reason why sometimes I don't wear gloves. Whoop, wrong way. Oh, that's only a car jack. Scissor yeah, lift car jack. Come in handy. Oh, they do. <laughs> you can use them for a lot of things. <laughs> See, the reason why I chop it in half and I've made this a certain length because by the time you chop these in half, they fit. Yeah. 
Yep, yep. Okay? So that's the reason why I've done that. I like your little setup. You'll, everyone seems to do that. Now this one, you need a bit more. That's it. That's the way to pull them out. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, brother. That's... That's magic. That's that's gold, that's, isn't that's it? That's nice. That's nice. That's what we like to see. Yes. I don't, try not to put too much plastic in our tub here. Um, it's not too worried about the strings, but they seem to worry too much about the plastic that goes into the copper. So I don't know why, but yeah, we they did. Like they no, they did com complain to me. Oh, you got too much plastic. I said, what am I supposed to do? They said, oh, try and keep it out. Oh, I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Here's another good one. Woohoo! Win win. That one. That's a win for me. Plastic strands, we'll pl pluck them out later. You can go as quick as you want there, but not all the way, because you don't know which one I'm going to pl yep. pluck out. But anyway, that's how it's all done. We'll go through this bin here. Oh, Jesus, that's deadly. That's still hanging by something. A bit of metal. Here, we'll do two at once here. Oh, I've got to get that off there too. Where'd my foot pedal go? That's that bit of metal. No, oh. oh, I'm grabbing the insulated wire. Oh, cut it. Here we go, the whole hog here now. You like that, I'll don't you? That out. It's easy. Where are we taking that? Which is that? What's that? Bit of oh, down there will do. Get charged the waste, baby. Why not? <laughs> All right, back we go. Like this is only small to what I've seen on some of the YouTubes. Like I've seen some people doing real big yeah, mows yeah, yeah. and that sort of thing. And um, yeah, so far this seems to be the quickest. We're extracting it. Two people on it. Pretty quick. Well, considering what's it taking me approximately about half an hour to do all of them. Yeah. Keep going. Well, it'll only take me probably more 15 minutes to do the rest. This is the easy part. Especially when you get really rocking and rolling. Yeah. And get into a roll sort of thing. Oh, I didn't cut that one properly. So where'd the side cutters down? Down there. You want to do that one while I'm... They've got some weight in them. That to there. It's pretty hard wire, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you thought it'd be soft. <laughs> yeah, right. It's got resin on it. That's why it's hard. Oh, damn foot pedal. Walking. Well, you feel how hard that is. You can't bend it, can you? No. 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 You're not getting time to do that one, are you? No, no. <laughs> I'm going too quick for you. <laughs> right. It's all that out and done. Oh, you got a bit of time now. <laughs> you got a bit of time. 
Not much, but a little bit. You might be better off grabbing the grinder and cutting it. There's one right there with a cord there. Plugging it in. There you go. If you want to put a bigger blade on, you can. Here. Or how big of a blade you want. That size? I think that'll do. That'll do. You're looking at it and think, no, that's too big. <laughs> no, I'm thinking how man I can do it. Easy. Undo it. <laughs> I'll give you the deadly one. Yeah. You'll cut it. No, you're right. You came down there. I've got enough space there. I'll let you know. I'll turn it over the other way, bro. Right? Right. Keep going. Try and get down inside there. You're only cutting the copper. Keep going round, keep going round, keep going round. You might have to cut it like you were. There you go. Watch out for those little strands, that's it. I need a bit of uh, slack here. Please. Oop, touchy foot. Ah, uh, yeah, no, well, put the, you can put it in there. But anyway, this is how we do it. Um, Brad and I are going to continue here, so if you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Um, and if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. Brad is a new member to the team here. Loving so the job. he's loving the work, which is good. Good to have an extra hand around here. June's been a lot busier than what she usually is. So I went and asked Brad, could he come on board and give me a hand? So yeah, that's what he's done. I'm learning. He's learning I'm as he goes. So I need this, come on. <laughs> puts a smile on my face. Well, I've opened his eyes on what actually happens, how things are processed. Um, so yeah, till next time, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio! Yeah.